Now someone posted a Instagram snapshot on Twitter of what the late Princess Diana said years back before her death. And she said this and I quote, "The press is so ferocious. It forgives nothing. It only hunts for mistakes. Every intention is twisted. Every gesture criticized. I believe that abroad it is different. I'm welcomed with kindness. I'm taken for what I am without prior judgment, without looking for blunders. In Britain, it's the opposite. And I believe that in my position, anyone sane would have left a long time ago. But Diana did not leave. Why? Because she had two kids to take care of. However, one person who calls himself son of Diana called his own mother chased to her death paranoid. Why? Because that person sold his soul to the tabloids. Harry, on the other hand, has called out tabloid press, tabloid press for exploitation, for his dehumanizing and ethical practices, while the other sold his soul to the tabloid media to cover up his alleged affairs. What Prince William did, my family. Now, someone also, you know, the same same person posted, you know, a photo of another one talking about Meghan's experiences in, you know, with the British press. He said this, and I quote, Buckingham Palace, no response to the media policy seems puzzling. Well, there were 246,000 525 articles written about Megan between May 2019 and April 2020, according to digital PR agency Bank. There are far less articles written about Kimilton and Prince Andrew during that same period, with 96,460 on Milton and 72,125 on Prince Andrew. Yet the palace and his team felt compelled to defend both Kate and even Prince Andrew, while Meghan Markle, the first mixed-race woman to join an all-white family. Yes, I said all-white, because the roles are all-white. Yet they say, it's not racism. It's not racism how they treated Meghan. It wasn't racist. Don't bring in the race card, they say. William said, the roles are very much not a racist family. As William said, we are very much not a racist family. Prince William's words. But yet you have the psycho fans for Prince William, like Dan Wooden said, saying on record, that the roles should remain whiter than white. When you look at that balcony, it's a representation of white supremacy in the UK. And they couldn't stand watching a mixed race woman marry into the institution, the all-white institution, my family. And I think these words need to be said, and they need to be spoken, because these words are practically all true. Just look at that balcony. It will give you the answer you need. And as you've even seen from this post, yet the palace and its team felt compelled to defend both Kate and even Andrew while well, Meghan Markle was never defended. Meghan, it seems, had to look the other way because these articles were not as important. It asked the questions, what do you think of this stance? I mean, you know, when I look at the articles that, you know, has been reported, being written about Meghan, being written about Meghan, 246,525 articles compared with 96,460 articles for Kate Milton. It tells you of how, you know, it tells a lot, first of all. First, of how the media was obsessed with Megan. And also of how the media was obsessed with inciting hate against Megan as well. And this is a full-on smear campaign. And clearly you can see its main aim was simply to destroy Megan. And the palace never lifted a finger to defend Meghan from anything. I mean, they even went and defended Kim Milton 
from rumors of doing botox. But when Archie was being racially abused, what was the response? Silence. You know, and then yet we have Prince William condemning racism in football. Yet could not utter a single word when someone working for the BBC, Danny Baker, had racial abuse towards baby Archie. I can't use those words in, you know, this video or in this channel because they are racially abusive. There are some words I just cannot use. But I think majority of you already know. If you're here, then I'm sure you already know of it all. And the thing is, they never lifted a finger, but yet you have Prince William going to condemn racism in football. And that's all good. That's good. That's good. That's good. But the thing is, it lacks, you know, authenticity, genuinity. It just shows that Prince William is there just for PR. Because if he truly meant it, then he could have started with condemning the racism targeted towards Megan. My friends. And Diana wanted to leave the UK. She just couldn't because she had two children. And now we see Prince Harry living the life that Diana should have lived, lived. Harry has already spoken about it himself, that this is the life that, you know, his dead mother would have wanted to live and deserved to live, unfortunately, before her life was cut short. After being chased by Parazi, who wanted to take photos for her to sell, that ended up on the front pages of UK Tablet Media, obsessed with her, what the UK tabloid media obsesses over, truly, as you can see, they seek to destroy. And destroy, you know, by being after blood, because what they're after is blood being spilled. The harassment of Harry and Meghan right now is dangerous, it's very, very dangerous, and it, on, it continues to go on day in, day out for years now. And my friends, we need to call it out every single day. We need every single people from all across the world to see what is happening and condemning the behavior of the tabloid media. We need more people speaking about it. With more voices, we can end it. I believe it. With more voices, you know, with more people calling out these practices, unethical, dehumanizing practices of tabloid media, I believe that we can be able to beat them. We can also beat them by spreading the truth of what they do, their practices, because that's not what they like to. They don't like their practices being exposed to the rest of the world. That's why they were mad when Harry, you know, said that indeed the tabloid media is bigoted. They don't like their practices, what they do, being exposed to the rest of the world. My family, they like it restricted to the UK. And I'm glad that Harry spoke up and made the entire world see and know exactly how WWE media operates and that indeed they are bigoted. They never learned their lesson after what they did with the late Mrs. Diana. Because no accountability was taken, they didn't answer for chasing her to her death. That's why they do it again. They're trying to repeat history, what they did, and they are after blood. And that's why Harry is taking, you know, security issue very, very seriously. It is very, very serious matter. He isn't playing around with matters involving security. Harry is not playing around with matters involving the safety of his wife and children because he himself knows what he is up against. And that's why he's in court fighting to ensure the safety of his wife and children. That is a real man and truly Princess Diana's late son. The same heart as his late mother. May God bless Prince Harry for what he's doing for his wife and children. And the entire world sees, Harry, you are not alone. We see it. The world sees it. You are not alone, Harry. You are not alone. May God bless you so, so much for what you're doing for your wife and children. May God bless you so, so much. We support you. The world sees what's happening. The world sees what's happening and the world supports you. The rest of us, we support you. We see it. The Sussex Squad, we support you and we love you. And 
my family what do you think about you know the number of articles written about Megan compared to Kim Milton what do you think about that what do you think about the policy of the, by the you know Buckingham Palace to look away just look away and Megan should just take it yet we have Prince William going to condemn racism in football I'm glad that people called him out and said if you are truly genuine then why didn't you condemn the racism against Megan because he did not do it he did not do it he did nothing as a matter of fact they are the biggest beneficiaries William and Kimbleton are the biggest beneficiaries of the smear campaign targeted towards Harry Megan and I'm glad that people call him, call him out for it members of the squad racism should always be condemned but not used by people in the raw cards that calls is our family as a tool a tool to show you know that hey look we are very much not a racist family at the same time having this smear campaign ongoing against the only mixed race woman to marry into the institution the all white institution of the monarchy at the same same time my family the smear campaign is ongoing at the same same time the same same row cult stripped harry and megan of their right to pay their own security they don't want harry and megan to even pay for the security and that's why i've said this there is no way that harry would be night security if the royals did not make a phone call there is absolutely no way the royals made a phone call and that's why harry lost his security and even they don't even want him paying to protect his wife and children. The level of vindictiveness of the royal caste that calls is a family, the monarchy, the farm, is on full display. And the ones responsible are the senior members of the royal family. Prince William, Charles, and even the Queen plays a part in this too. And that's why when Harry was asked by Hoda if you miss Charles or William, he deflected answering that question, then said that he missed his family. He does miss them overall. My family, what he doesn't miss is his wife being used. Is he, Harry, being used as a scapegoat for the monarchy, the farm. And that's why Harry, may God bless him, and may they live out there happily ever after in the US and not come back to an abusive place as senior members of the royal cult that calls is a family. And Harry and Meghan already rejected after that one year review period to come back to being senior members of the royal cult because they themselves know the lives that were expected of them to put up with the abuse, to be scapegoats for William and Kate Milton. That is not living. In this life, you have to thrive, not survive. And Harry and Meghan have chosen to thrive. And I'm thankful to the late Princess Diana for giving birth to an amazing son Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, who protects and loves his wife and children. Thank you, Harry, for always keeping your wife and children safe and fighting for them in court. We see you. We see you. We see you. And we support all of you. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. What do you think about the late Princess Diana's own words? And what do you think about what the palace did to Harry and Meghan? I want to hear all your opinions. Defending Botox, K. Milton for doing Botox, at the same time silent on racial abuse. What do you think about all of this? My family, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. We love you always and forever. And stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. 
and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.